welcome to the country that was assembled by IKEA. Gave us the 70s supergroup ABBA and is of course the land of the Volvo. That's right, we are in Sweden for the final round of this, the European Kart Racing Championships. We're here in Kristianstad, this magnificent circuit, but before we got here, we kicked off the series in the sunshine of Portimao, Portugal. From there, we moved to the PFI circuit in England and that's exactly where we pick up the action. We'll take a look back and see what happened in the second round leading into Sweden. Well, no one expected the Indonesian Presley Martono to dominate in England just like he did. He took a fantastic win in the United Kingdom. That's put him back into contention. In the senior category, the 2013 the world Tom champion Joyner. Tom Joyner winning on his home circuit. That's put him second in the series and he's chasing down his countryman Ben Henley as we lead into qualifying here at Christianstad, the final round of the European Championships. Let's take a look at the action from qualifying. When the junior category hit the track, it was the series leader, Kenny Roosens, who set a time, 51.777, to take pole for this, the final round of the championships. Second in qualifying was Rasmus Lind, aboard the Ricardo Kart, one ahead of the fast Brazilian, Felipe Drugovic. Presley Martono put his baby race Tony Kart sixth on the grid, one ahead of another championship contender, Christian Lungard. Down in 17th was Clement Novelak, second in the series and desperate to win the title in 2015. A devastating result for the only other driver who could win the title in 2015, all the way from Bangalore, India, Kush Maney qualifying 51st on the grid and a lot of work to do later on in the final. Despite qualifying fastest, Kenny Roosens had a woeful run throughout the heats. He could not get inside the top 15 despite having one of the quickest carts on the track. He was belted from here to next Sunday aboard his BDK Racing Cosmic Car and had a lot of work to do just to make it through to the final and take the title for 2015. No such problems for the likes of Lungard and Martono. They both took heat wins in both the dry and the wet throughout the heats at Christianstad. Clement Novelak had a pretty good run throughout the heats, but he didn't quite have the pace to match the leaders. The Tony Kart Racing Team working on the setup of that kart overnight to put him up at the front of the field for the final on Sunday. Kushmani ran hot and cold throughout the heats, much like the weather in Sweden. He had some heat runs inside the top five, others he was struggling to break into the top 20. Marta Garcia took two heat wins and was inside the top five all of Saturday. Her move to take the opening heat win took her from third to first in one brave move in one corner. The girl from Valencia in Spain, she's already leading the CIK FIA Academy Trophy. She'll be there for the race win on Sunday afternoon. So the 2015 title all comes down to this. It is a four-way fight between Rusens, Novelak, Martono and Lungard. Kush matey, he's mathematically in the title hunt, but he's going to need a miracle. Remember, he qualified way back on grid number 51. 
The Russian driving for the Swedish Ward Racing Team, Alexander Vartanian, held pole position for much of qualifying on Friday afternoon. However, the local favourite, the almost local from just over the border in Denmark, Nicholas Nilsson, left it to the very last lap of the session. He put down a time of 50.678 as the sun started to set in Christianstad. He took pole position, finally, aboard the number 101 Tony Kart. And although he's not in contention for the title, he will be there for a race win, if he can, on Sunday afternoon. Vartanian therefore qualified second ahead of the pole. Carol Bash, a brilliant effort from Hannes Janka. The German was fourth ahead of the 2013 world champion Tom Joyner. Remember, Tom is second in the points coming into this, the final round of the series. The championship leader, Ben Henley, was 10th aboard his mad croc cart and the only other driver who can take out the title in 2015, the Italian Felice Tiene, qualified seventh aboard his CRG. The two British drivers, Ben Henley and Tom Joyner, much like they did at their home round in England, dominated the heat. They finished first and second on a number of occasions, both recording heat wins. Nicholas Nielsen had one crash and one heat win in the rain on Saturday afternoon, while his teammate, the Kiwi, Marcus Armstrong, proved while New Zealanders are so, so tough. He rolled his cart with his spectacular crash in the wet over the chicane. The All Blacks are not the toughest rugby team in the world for no reason. Marcus Armstrong drove back to the pits with a very damaged cart, but was back to finish fourth in the final heat of the afternoon. The Italian Felici Tiene was rarely outside the top three aboard his CRG cart. He will need a miracle to take the European Championship for 2015 and that would involve both Joyner and Henley not finishing the final. Still, he was quick and he will be in contention for the race win later this afternoon. The junior category was divided into two pre-finals and just the first 17 drivers in each would make it through to the final on Sunday afternoon. The almost local driver, Christian Lungard from just over the border in Denmark, took a fantastic victory in pre-final number one. He did his championship chances no harm at all, taking the chequered flag with a dominant display. He will start the final from pole position. Behind him, all eyes were on the other championship contenders. Presley Martorno and Clement Novalak, the Indonesian and the Englishman, they were just 14th and 16th respectively, making their job to win the title very, very difficult. Kenny Roosens, who led coming into the championship decider in Christianstad, sensationally was disqualified. He was deemed to have interfered with the bodywork of his car coming into Park Ferme. He was excluded. He will have to watch the final from pit lane. He sits second in the series and cannot win the title because he cannot race the final. This leaves Christian Lungard in pole position and the championship favourite to win the 2015 series. So, the championship is on the line. The Dane will start from pole position. That's Christian Lungard, the Indonesian, Presley Martono out of 14, and Clement Novalak, the Brit, way back on grid number 16. KF pre-final got underway under very threatening skies in Christianstad. It was the Brit, Ben Henley, the championship leader, who led away from pole position. 
However, as the laps ticked over, the skies got more and more threatening. And towards the end of the race, yes, it started to rain. They put the wheels up on the ripple strip, trying to get every bit of traction out of those Vega tyres. It was Dan Cameron who was in the lead when the race was sensational red flag the lap 13 of the scheduled 17 lap distance. The Dane, Nicholas Nielsen, he finished second on the road, while Tom Joyner, still in the hunt for the championship, finished third. The driver of the race, though, came from the New Zealander. After a big crash during the heats, Kiwi Marcus Armstrong came from grid 19 to finish sixth. He will start on the outside of row three for the final. The only other driver that could mathematically take out the 2015 title was the Italian Felice Tiani. Aboard his CRG, he finished the pre-final in four. That's an outside row two start for the final. The Dutchman, Richard of Shaw, who was also involved and was never outside the top five in the dry part of the early race or when the rain started to come down. The Polish Cosmic Kart driver, Karol Bash, might not be in contention for the championship, but he was desperate to win here in Christianstad. He was super quick in the heats and was dicing amongst the leaders for the pre-finals. Don't discount him winning here this afternoon. It is the championship leader, Ben Henley. He takes the win for the pre-final to start the final on pole position. We are in the hands of our race director, Mr. Nigel Edwards. We have four red lights where they will go out. We will be racing, which is right now, it's Christian Lungard, the pole sitter who leads them down into turn one. A brilliant start by Marta Garcia and her countryman, Davide Vidales in the energy cart is now up into third. As the field have gone through relatively cleanly, Felipe Drogovic. And Kale Collette, the two Brazilians in the two Cosmic Carts, they've muscled their way into third and fourth. Your race leader is your championship leader, Christian Lungard. Down into the hairpin for the first time, Kale Collette. 2 4 1 in the Cosmic Cart, tries a move on his countryman. It is Drogovic and Collette. Garcia in second spot. Presley Martono coming through. Presley is now in 12th, but guess who's in front of him? Clement Nova, like the Tony Kart team driver, is on the charge. He's come from grid 18 to be in 11th. He's taken seven places in just the opening two and a half laps. Well, the Brit has dropped down to 13th after being shuffled back on that lap. Clement Novalak has just been passed by the Swede in the Ricardo Kart, Rasmus Lind. We spoke about Rasmus. He had a good run yesterday. Remember, there were 75 drivers starting this final round of the European Kart Racing Championships. Rasmus started 13. He's just taken the championship contender, Clement Novelak. Drugovic over the ripple strip has now taken Garcia for second spot. As you can see, the Spaniard sits there in third. She will have to defend the other Brazilian in a few moments' time. She's in a cosmic cart sandwich. Drugovic from Brazil in front of her in the Cosmic. Kao Colette also from Brazil, also in the Cosmic, immediately behind her and closing. And she's dragging the Dutchman Bent Fiscal along with her. Javier Loveres, another Spaniard, sits in sixth ahead of the Russian Ivan Shvetsov. Kushmani Presley Martono is up into ninth. That will not win the Indonesian the title. It won't even put him in the top three. In fact, Christian Lungard, the lead is 2.6 seconds. Back to Felipe Drugovic. We are coming up to half race distance very, very shortly. There's Garcia going through on screen. Fastest lap of the race. Look at that. The championship fight is not over yet because Presley Martono driving the baby race Tony Kart has responded. He will need Lungard to fall over, which is looking very, very unlikely. And he will need to pass eight more carts to claim the title. Drugovic, Garcia looks over his shoulder, head down behind the steering wheel. 114 kilometers an hour for these KF Junior carts coming up into turn one. Through the chicane, two wheels over the ripple strip. 
before breaking into the furthest point of the circuit. Kenny Roosens, who dominated in Portimao, he took pole position on Friday night here in the sunshine in southern Sweden. He had a wretched run through the heats and he's been disqualified from starting the final. Sweet, watch Fiscal up the inside goes the Dutchman. He takes the Brazilian, looks over his shoulder, says, thank you very much. I'm in fourth place. I'm now one step off the podium. Nice move into the final corner by the Perilla powered Tony Kart driver. Kale Collette in the green helmet has to concede. Let's see. The Brazilian can respond. Five laps to go in this championship decider. So they smash over the ripple strip. We go back to the leader. His gap is 3.1 seconds as the skies ominously start to get just that little bit darker here in Christianstad. Let's look at the replay. Into the final corner, the Dutchman. Look at the inside rear wheel skip off the ground. Massive grip in that Tony cart, which is all hooked up onto the start finish straight. Kale Collette, the Brazilian, he was fourth. He's now running fifth. Bent Fiscal is now one step off the podium. Lungard flashes by. There's Drugovic. There's Garcia. Bent Fiscal brilliant up into position number four ahead of Kale Collette. Xavi Oliveres, Presley Martono has made it into seventh. That will secure him second in the championship at least as Christian Lungard smashes over the ripple strips for the final time. Down into the hairpin for this, the last lap. He's looking not only at a series round win, but the championship win itself. The driver from nearby Denmark driving for the team from Sweden, Ward Racing. He's just got four corners to go. Breaks hard into the left-hander, lets that Tony Kart drift. This is the final corner. Christian Lungard will take the checkered flag. He wins here in Christianstad. He is the European champion for 2015. He's absolutely delighted, as well he should be. Then to the final, uh, we had a the inside, so we start pole, and we got a gap on the first lap, and we just full gas and keep calm, and then hold it to the end. So I'll say thanks to uh, Joachim for a great job, to my dad, uh, my brother and my mom, and uh, my mechanic. We are getting ready for a start. The title is on the line. It is a battle of Britain. Hanley on pole position versus Joyner out of grid number three. Four red lights go out. We are racing. Bash ducks to the inside. Tieni tries the outside. It is Britain one and two because Joyner has snuck into second spot. Displacing Nicholas Nielsen, who's been shuffled back to fourth. Juan Correa, a brilliant start by the American from grid number six. He is now up into position number three. Hanley leads in the mad croc cart from Joyner in the Zanardi cart. Nielsen up the inside of the American. The Dane's gone through. Juan Correa takes him back. He says, no, you're going to have to do better than that, Nicholas. I don't care what team you're driving for. No one outsmarts an American on the opening lap of the race. Juan Correa in third spot. As aggressive as you'd like. Nielsen in the Tony cart now. Past the American into position number three. We've got a change for the lead though, because Joyner tries it on for the lead. Henley looks over the shoulder and says, no, 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 I'm the leader. You're gonna have to do better than that. Joyner's gonna try again and Nielsen is gonna get involved. This is the championship on the line. Nielsen cannot win the title if the two Brits finish in front of him. This is the end of lap number three. Nielsen thought about it. Into the hairpin, he's gonna be in the slipstream of Tom Joyner. Up the start, finish straight at 118 kilometers an hour. Nielsen pulls out into turn one. Joyner shuts the door down through the turn two, turn three chicane. Into the hairpin, watch Nielsen, here he comes. The Dane for the Tony Cut is now in position number two. Look at Marcus Armstrong, he has come from the clouds. Speaking of which, look at Nicholas Nielsen. We have a new leader here in Christianstad. The Tony Cart is into the lead. Watch out for Marcus Armstrong in position number four. He's on the tail of Tom Joyner. Joyner has a look at Henley. Armstrong in fourth is going to get a run on Joyner now. Watch the Kiwi. Joyner knows he's there. He blocks the inside. Well, Nicholas Nielsen is not yet running away with this as Marcus Armstrong. While that was going on, he's gone through into position number three. Oh, Nielsen's got a problem, does he? I think Nielsen's got a problem. 
You saw the arm go up. What on earth has happened now? Nielsen, where is he? He's dropping back through the field. He's now been passed by Joyner. Nielsen, look at him. He's got a problem. He's out of the race. Ben Henley, he's under attack from Marcus Armstrong. He's now back up to speed as we've got a change for the lead. It's Marcus Armstrong. Well, can you believe it? Here comes Marcus. He now leads the championship decider from Henley and Joyner. No one figured on this. He qualified badly on Friday by his own admission. He was way down in 19. He was very despondent. We know they're watching him all the way down there in New Zealand where it is early on Monday morning. Now we watch the two Britons across the line. That is Henley and Joyner. Joyner right behind Ben Henley takes a title line. Oh, they're side by side through the chicane. They touch. They have touched and lost themselves a position. Hannes Janka, the German in the CRG, is now into second. The two Brits went side by side into the chicane. You saw smoke come off the tyres. But Ben Henley still leads the championship from there. Marcus Armstrong, this has been a sensation. He led by 0.3 of a second last time round. He now leads by 1.5 seconds. 51.76 for Marcus Armstrong. As Henley and Joyner, they now go side by side. Here comes Richard for sure. The Dutchman up the inside. He has taken Henley. Well, if they finish like this, Joyner will go to the virtual championship in just a few moments. They would just about be tied on points. Remember, Tom Joyner won the last round of the series at PFI Circuit in England. The sky is getting very grey and overcast. Because Armstrong to Hannes Janka. That's the virtual championship. Handley, well, he will hold on if he cannot lose any more positions. Felici Tiani's next behind him, charging up. He's next in line to take the Brit. Here comes Handley. Oh, has to lock it up on the back of Vashaw. Vashaw for RB Racing. He's all the way from Christchurch in New Zealand. We know you're watching on down there in, in NZ. Your boy's doing really well. He is leading this, the championship decider. But as we're saying that, Richard Vashaw, the Dutchman, has now got past Tom Joyner into position number three. The gap, 1.6 seconds. It hasn't moved for sure, though. He has certainly moved. He is now up into position number two. He's passed the German. Joyner tries to join in. The Dutchman leads the German, then it's the Brit. Ben Henley sits back there in five. Oh, Tom Joyner! What an aggressive move to retake the bottom step of the podium. Slams that Zanardi cart up the inside. Hannes Janka, he was in second, now he's off the podium. Felici Tiani, he's alongside Ben Henley, the two championship contenders. Ben Henley actually let him through. He's got his eye on the title. This the final. He's two corners away from taking the biggest win of his career. The checkered flag comes out. Marcus Armstrong wins in Sweden. The championship decider, the kid from Christchurch, New Zealand, has taken the biggest win of his career. Richard for sure, the Dutchman across the line in second. Tom Joyner was third from Hannes Janko, Ben Henley fifth. And we believe that has given the Englishman, Benjamin Henley, the title not only for himself, but also for the Mad Croc Racing Team. Worked extremely hard from the beginning of the season to get to a point where we could be competitive and be on the podium. It's Mad Croc's first year in karting, so to be a European champion in our first year is amazing. So at the end of a fantastic 2015 series, it is indeed the Dane Christian Lungard who claims the European Championship. All the way from Jakarta, Indonesia, Presley Martono is second in the title race. Kenny Rosens, the Belgian, finishes third. Great effort by the Spaniard Marta Garcia, she finishes fourth, while Clement Novelak, the Brit, claims fifth in the title. So in his first year racing for the brand new Mad Croc promotion team, it is the Englishman Ben Henley who claims the 2015 European Championship. Tom Joyner ensures the Union Jack flies high, making it a British 1-2, second in the Euro title for the year. The Dutchman, Richard Vashaw was third, Felicitiani fourth in the title race. 
That concludes the 2015 European Kart Racing Championships and what a brilliant series it has been. From here, all attention turns to the big one, the World Championships at La Conca Muro Lecese in southern Italy on September 27. And we'll bring you all the action from that event right here, live on Motors TV. Until then, we'll see you next time we go racing.